Hello guys, welcome to JavaScript Interpretation Series. This is question number 20, where we need to rename the object keys. Here is the object with keys temp and wind speed and the expected output is we need to add this WA underscore. We are assuming that these data is coming from a weather API. That's why we are adding this WA, which stands for weather API. We are going to solve this problem in three different ways. The first way I'm going to use is the destructuring. So to destructure any object, I can write cones empty object and then there I can pass the object. And in this empty object, we can pick these keys, right? Temp and wind speed. Now guys, while using restructuring, we can alias the key names, right? So for aliasing, we can add a colon here and then you can give any name to it. So I'm going to use WA temp because that is the expected output, right? And in the wind object also, I'm going to use same thing, WA underscore wind speed. Now just to show you what it has. It is winding 30, which is coming directly from here. Okay, now by using these two keys and getting uh, the expected output, I'm going to create a new object and uh, using object dot assign which takes two parameters. One is a target and another one is the source. Target is the output, whereas source is the input. Okay, so here I'm going to use a, a empty object and the input here in our case is WA temp and then WA wind speed. Okay, and print this one and save. Guys, now you can see we get the object with the expected output. Now the problem with this approach is that let's say there are 20 more properties which we are getting from the uh, weather API and we want to append this WA underscore to each and every property. Then for that, we have to write those 20 properties here. That's a lot of typing and that consumes times as well, right? So the, a better approach to solve that problem is creating our own function, which does all that for us. So the second way I'm going to use is writing a function before writing the function i want to show you two things which will be used in that function one is object dot entries and one is object dot from entries first let's see what is object dot entries so i'm going to console log object dot entries not define properties uh, it's object dot entries and i can pass the object here okay let me clear the console first and save it as you can see, it has returned an array with an individual array for each key and value. Okay, so here we have temp 30. So in, inside the array temp 30, wind speed 13, wind speed 13. That's what object dot entry does. Now, the second thing I want to show you is object dot from entries. And guys, object dot from entries takes these kind of arrays as input and it returns the object like this okay so let me just write console dot log object dot from call from from entries and here i can pass this one only so let me cut it and paste it here and let me delete this one here the console and say now you can see it has returned me this object because this object dot from entry was creating the array inside array and this object from entry takes that as a input and returns the object. Okay, so now we are going to write our solution. So let me delete this one as well. Now here I'm going to write object dot entries or define properties. It is uh, entries. I don't know why every time it does that. And inside that I can pass this object and now you know that it will return an array of arrays correct and then over the array we can run the map method and which takes a callback and inside this i have the array of p and value correct that's what uh, the object dot entries returns and next what i can do is i want to have an array with a key which is appended with this w a underscore right so i will have a array with a key so i'm going to use here the string templates with a backtick which is w a underscore and then i'm going to pass the key dynamically here okay 
and then the value would be as it is. So just to show you what it has done is console.log. Let me print this one out so that you can clearly clearly see what's going on. Let me clear the console and save it. You see it has created a array for us with the WA temp 30 and WA wins with 13. And now I guess you already know the solution when we have array of these kinds and we want to convert these array into these kinds of object, we can use object dot from entries, correct? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this entire thing into a object dot called from entries. Now we can wrap this object dot from entries into this console log bracket. So here we can close it and let's clear the console first and now save it. As now you can see we get the expected output and this solution is also working 100% fine. Now guys, there is a third way as well. And the use case for that is there is one more key here. Humidity, let's say, and the value is, I don't know, 0.4. Now the use case is I want to add uh, different prefixes to each key. So this is a prefix only, right? WA underscore. Here, let's say I want to add a prefix of printend underscore. Then for wind speed, I want to use a backend underscore. And for humidity, I just want to add a WA that is a weather API underscore. With these two approaches also, we can solve this problem, but we have to use a lot of if and else conditions. So a better approach would here be to create a mapper. So I'm going to write const mapper equals to, and here I'm simply going to write. So here, let me delete this FE because this is the expected output actually, not the, the input. This is FE, this is BE, and this is WA. It doesn't matter, but yeah. here. I'm just going to write that. Now, uh, after creating the mapper, I'm going to create a new function. Let's call it rename ease, which is a arrow function. And it takes the data. And this data is nothing but uh, the object itself, this row object. So I'm going to pass this OBJ here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new object mapped equals to an empty object. Okay, this is going to be our output also of this function. So let's write a logic here which does the manipulation of this object. So first of all, I'm going to write object dot ease and I'll pass this data. Okay, and what this object dot key does is it will extract all the keys from this object and put them into a array. So just like this, it will be an array of temp, then wind speed, and so on. Since this is an array, I can write a for each bit here, which takes a callback. Let me scroll it up. And then uh, here, let me call it a key. The first check I'm going to do is I'll check if the mapper has this key or not. So I'm going to write mapper has this key. Okay, so now if the key is present, I want to add that key to this mapped object. Okay, so let me write this mapped object here. And now how do we get this FE temp key here? So for that, I we can use this thing here, uh, this map mapper key and pass it inside the square brackets. What it does, this mapper uh, square brackets key. So here for the first iteration, key is temp, then we'll check mapper dot temp, which is the fe underscore temp. So it will become fe underscore temp. And then this mapped object will have this fe underscore temp key. Okay, I hope it makes sense. Equals to, uh, I want to pick this value 30 from here. So this is my, a row object and I can pass the key which is temp for the first iteration. And for some reasons, if the key is not present on in this mapper, I do not want to do anything. I just want to return whatever key and whatever value the data key had. So for that, I'm going to write mapped object. And inside that, I simply add whatever the key is and then data of key, whatever the value is. 
And finally, after running this for each, I can return the mapped object. And here, let me just console.log it. Console. Okay, here is the expected output is fe underscore temp, b underscore temp, wa humidity. So guys, we have solved this problem in three different ways. If you know any other way to solve it, please comment.